Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economics series, we will see how to use the Jacobian determinant to test functional dependence of the equations. So, the concept of Jacobian I have given in the earlier video. Now, we will use that concept to test the functional dependence of the given equations. So, the question is, use the Jacobian to test functional dependence of the equations y1 is equal to 5x1 plus 3x2 and y2 is equal to 25x1 square plus 30x1x2 plus 9x square. So, we have to test whether these two equations are functionally dependent on each other or not. Now, first of all, we take the partial derivative of this equation uh, with respect to x1 and x2, that is, we take partials take uh, take first order partials first order partials partials that means differentiating this with respect to x1 that is dy1 divided by dx1 this comes out to be the derivative of this 5x1 is 5 similarly uh, dy1 divided by dx2 taking with respect to x2 this comes out to be uh, here the derivative is 0 here this comes out to be 3 similarly we take uh, the partials of this uh, first order partials of this equation that is dy2 with respect to x1 so this comes out to be uh, 2 into 25 that is 50 uh, 50 x1 uh, plus here this is uh, 30 x to similarly the second one with respect to x2 that is dy2 divided by dx2 so here it comes out to be uh, its derivative is uh, 0 here I will write first the derivative of this one this is uh, 9 2 are 18 x2 plus here the derivative with respect to x is x2 is 30 x1 30 x1 now we will form the Jacobian that is J uh, which is composed of the partial derivatives of these equations with respect to independent variables. So this will be uh, equal to dy1 divided by dx1 dy1 divided by dx2 similarly dy1 divided by sorry dy2 divided by dx1 and dy2 divided by dx2 now our uh, variables are here uh, sorry the elements are now dy by dx1 is this is the first element i write here for you dy1 divided by dx2 that is 3 i will write here 3 similarly dy2 divided by dx2 is 18x dy 2 divided by dx1 that is 50x1 plus 30x2 uh, so I will write 3 here um, similarly uh, the third last one is dy2 divided by dx2 that is this one that is 18x2 uh, plus 30x1 now we will take the determinant of this that is we multiply these two elements uh, and from it we, we subtract the uh, product of these two elements so our j is equal to jacobian is equal to that is 5 into this 5 into 18 x2 plus 30 x1 uh, minus 3 times this uh, 50 x1 uh, plus 30 x2 so now solving this will give us now uh, this comes out to be um, now this is here uh, 5 into 18 that is 5 into 18 here it is 5 8s are 40 5 1s are 5 uh, 5 8s are 40 5 1s are 5 6 7 8 9 so this is 90 x2 plus this will become 150 x1 here three, uh, 3 into 50 is minus uh, 3 5 are 15 150 x1 here uh, 3 3 are 9 this will become 90 uh, x2 uh, now this will get cancelled with this 90 this comes with this 90 so our j is equal to 0 
and we have seen then the uh, Jacobian determinant is zero we say there the uh, equations are functionally dependent that is that uh, these two equations are functionally dependent or we can say that there is a functional dependence between the equations so we say there there is a functional dependence functional dependence and one way we can see in the simplest way uh, if we observe them carefully we can say we can see these uh, this uh, uh, this equation let us say i will write here this for you x 1 plus 3 x 2 if we square this if we square this this comes out to be uh, this that is a plus b uh, to the power 2 so this becomes a square that is 5x square that is 5x1 square uh, plus uh, 9x2 square uh, plus twice 5x1 5x1 into 3x2 that is we get here that's 25u 25u x1 square uh, 25u sorry i yes, uh, it is here uh, for you x1 square here we can see that and here it is so actually it is 3 here because so this will become uh, plus 9 x2 square plus 2 5 is a 10 3 is a 30 x1 x2 so this is actually if we square this uh, function we get um, this equation so these two equations are functionally dependent so i will write here clearly so we can write these two equations as for you x1 plus 3 x2 so the square of this equation that is uh, yes, uh, square of the y1 equation uh, gives us this that is 25u x1 square uh, plus 30 x1 x2 plus 9 x2 square that means square of the first function is equal to the second function so there is the functional dependence between the system of equations so in next video we will see another examples of the functional dependence between whether there exists a, a functional dependence or not, we will see in the next videos. Thank you. So for more videos on mathematical economics, please subscribe our YouTube channel EconMaths. Also like, comment and share if you like this video. Thank you.